we're going to climb the highest mountain in Ukraine. <laughs> Maldives, Ukraine. Maldives. Okay. Tomatoes, pomidori. Pomidori, yes. Potatoes. Potatoes. Yes, you're need to more. Yes, yes. Okay. Toilet. Toilet. Yeah. yeah. Everybody. Mean, yeah. Special toilet there. Go bathroom. And cat. <laughs> <laughs> Free shower. The vibe. <laughs> Jesus appears in. <laughs> After that, Jesus appeared again to his <coughs> disciple, 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 disciples, disciples. <laughs> By the sea, the other disciples, disciples, <laughs> disciples followed, in followed, the, followed, followed in the boat. Yes, to to win the heat, to win, to win, to win the. Need full of fish. Net. Net. Like the fish. Господ, сказал мой сеньята Аарон, дити Иерусалю и буди наш. Trying to work out if our van will fit here. I don't know how those cars got up there. <laughs> Brute force it. Yo! It's a good tire. It's about four kilometers to go walking. So this is the base camp here. We've obviously got some great facilities if you want. But we're just spending a day here. Keeping it simple today, I've got an MTAC Tactical one day bag. I've got a bottle of 1.2 litres. So that's enough for about eight kilometres. Some food and some just emergency stuff in here. First aid kit, etc. I brought enough stuff out, I didn't have to actually buy anything. This way, good food here. Amazing. Sverka. Sverka, church. And to buy? Do you want? It begins. Ivan on the rear radio. Stunning terrain. You win the competition for carrying the most water. <laughs> so I just cleared that forest about 40 minutes of that really steep gradient with all those root systems, which makes it quite hard to walk in. If it was raining, it would be a lot worse. So anyway, it's starting to clear a little bit now. 
Yeah. Looks like about 2.3 kilometers to the summit. Yeah. Very narrow path. Danny, slow down! The air is a lot cooler now. Emergency water supply. And some Christian music. Yeah. Hallelujah! Mark, my friend, you drink first, then I drink. Okay. <laughs> This spring water is like cold from the fridge. That's your filtered spring source. So this train is so steep now, it's like 50 degrees, 55 degrees. These are pretty much just so, so I'm staying low to the ground and using my hands. Very treacherous for your ankles this. for camping. We have one, one, uh, one kilometer to go. I'm feeling it in my legs now because the last time I climbed a mountain was probably 20 years ago so I'm just amazed at how fit the youth is I'm with. Most of them just flying up the mountain ahead of me so no wonder Russia's having a hard time taking this country if the youth are so tough just to casually go up this highest mountain in Ukraine. Woo. I reckon I got about 60 meters to go to the top. <sighs> oh. Oh. No! Yeah, no. <laughs> I now relax. Why? Well done. Dobry den, everybody. Dobry den, everybody. How are you? Good. How are you? Good workout. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus, for the strength to come up here. What a view. <laughs> I didn't know I would eat so much. Huskies. Oh. Very nice. Very fit. Greece and Scotland. You? How many times you come up this mountain? Uh, first time. Me too. It's difficult. Yeah, before that I was on uh, Klein Matterhorn in space. I like it more. This is the tallest mountain I ever this, went to. This? Greece, you have, I think, more tallest. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. We need to check. Yeah. They don't like to stand still, don't they? Yeah, they don't so like to stay, they like to walk around. So soft fur. Yeah. It smells my dog, I think. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh. Okay, nice to meet you. Champions!
a whole lot easier going down the hill. That's actually where we started down there. It doesn't actually look that far when you're up here, but this whole walk and this bit going up to there is a walk kind of the worst bit. About a third of the way home. Has to keep good pace. He does now, mind you. So going down this horrible terrain, I'm doing just one hand with this stick and then one hand with just trying to hold onto the rocks. It's really steep. Now back almost to the tree line. It's really taking a toll on your calves because you're always like deaccelerating. At least it's using different muscles because I'm not as tired as I was going up. But it's still uh, testing my stability muscles and my, and my ankles. Pierre Misha looking after me. My guide, Misha. Hello. It doesn't really look that much from here, but being up that, it really <laughs> completely different from what you think it is. Also, I found that the key is to land on your the ball of your feet, because then you can sort of absorb any shakiness. If you land on here, you can have more problems. Me and Misha actually managed to get lost a bit, be lost the main group. They're going the green route, and then we ended up going the blue route. But at one point I thought we were actually off all the routes and I was like, okay, are we going to Odessa or something? Roots are, roots of the trees are, you see how much places walked on, the roots of the trees are kind of more consistent than rocks in terms of being stable under your feet. So that's how we got split up. On the way up, we took the green route for the wood and way back we took the blue route. Now we go back to the hotel. So you can see here how the blue route is quicker, uh, shorter, not, but it's a lot steeper. The green one would have been gentle. Red one, I guess that's multiple peaks. Where's fire engine? Oh, okay. Stop, yeah, stop, yeah, stop to it. Ah, yeah, because we have a lot of Ah. No, no. It's not hard. We go, we go 